Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Bryce Good. If this is your first time or watching my video and you have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification, please and please subscribe. Thank you very much. So in today's video, taking a look at how to create this website, like a company website, it was done using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It's also responsive, has different animation, what the fixed header, how to learn how to do a fixed header that shrinks the and also a footer. Please don't mind some of the naming here. Sometimes I don't know the idea to name. Yeah, that's almost almost all problems of programmers giving names. But you can put any names when you're following me. So to know how to do this, you just have to follow me throughout the video to know. It is also quite responsive for mobile view. As you can see here, go for mobile so it will be easier. All right, guys, this is what we'll be doing for today. So, if you have any question while I'm doing it, you can ask in the comment section below. Or uh, if you want, the source code will be available. Or maybe on my next upload, I will upload the source code. So, please subscribe and stay tuned for the source code. And also, if you have any tutorial you want me to do, don't forget to ask so that I'll be able to do it. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, let's start nice and easy. Uh, HTML, let's name it bright service something like that sorry and let's add the meta to make it good for responsive mobile view that way it will be okay and let's also front us on we have linked our style that's the style of CSS all right guys then let's move over to our body First off, let's start with hood, which is the container. After that, header, header section, then our container, which is header container. Good. And the logo, which our logo will carry a paragraph of bright code. Later, I will fix it and also you uh, after that the leaks to add a class of nav li and then e for now it's going nowhere so it's just like this All right then let's add up control c Duplicate it four times. You can still add more if you want. What is this? Services. The services we have about and contact. All right, guys. That will be for enough. Next up, we move on to the next session. That should be another session. Dave dot section. A session for the slider this will be for the main image the slider and it contain a container with slider another should be slider content that should be two classes after that we have a h1 we should name it hero i don't know why but just name it you can name it your own Bright code and also have an H2 with same hero. I should name it online services. Good. After that, we shall be div that should be called this man of learn more. Okay, okay. Now let's just add some space so it's easier to see. Alright guys, after that, next thing you should do, show down that section. The first section is okay. That's we should container, sorry, not container, container. Come right here. Show the container. And the H1. Let me write good. Benefits. 
don't know if it's giving way you subscribe to my channel yeah i like that and also you have a view of cool and another class of two classes and a huge one a huge one should have a class of icon which is the icon you hovered and also an icon that is i dot far dot far drop good okay then then we should have another huge one this should be service service right i got it what should be fast delivery fast delivery and then we shall be paragraph of what it's about and in lauren let's use lauren 7 okay this should be good then we should just copy this and add it four more times sorry three more times one two three okie dokie before that we should have another div called responsive group in here as a divider all right guys let's change some of this so after the drop next we should do is lock for security alternative and this should be security the first delivery we have security with no need for the loader let's just keep it like that so after the other one first we should have this comment comment that should be communication and the next one we have on our group that should be shield which is for insurance that should be insurance and the should be shield alternative let's check it here good so after we are done with that we should have a group under it okay and then next up should be section with another class of dg as usual you should have a container the container and the huge one should be company and policy Please don't mind my naming and an H2 of Lorem 5. Okay, and then next up we should have a div, and the div should be should have many classes cool tree bg dot no pad dot pointer. Though I want to use the CSS, you know how to use all this. After that, next thing we should do is our uh, image, image holder. Okay, that should be image holder. And inside the image holder, we have an image. The source of BG. Let's see. We should start with BG two. This is background two. Yeah, this beautiful lady. All right, guys. After that, after that, we should have a name, which is name is future. We should guide the name of whoever this lady is. I'm just going to add it as name, and a lorem of five. Cool, cool, cool. But after that, what you are going to do is to copy it. After copying it, you should copy it five more. Two, three, four, five. All right. After these five times, next thing we are going to do is next we are going to do look for the should look for the third one. One, two, three, and before here, show the group and imagine. Okay, guys. So that after that, first thing we're going to do is just to change the name. What are the images? This should be three. Good. And this next one should be like four. 
for the PNG. You can see all of it here. So after for the PNG, we should have five nest. After five, we have a six. And then after six, we have seven. Alright guys, let's see what we have here. Good. Now we haven't added any tin to it. As you can see we haven't added any weeds. So it just covers the entire. I don't worry, we'll add them later. Then the next thing we are going to do after all this is alright guys before before I forget, we should add the weeds so that it just be easier 100 percent and it had to be 100 percent we should copy it so that i didn't do it earlier oh add it here yes add it here add it okay add it is that the last one okay one more Okay, don't worry. When it's when you're doing the CSS, just all this that I'm when you do the CSS, that's when you understand what you're actually doing. So for now, just follow me and be doing what I'm doing. So before we close it, let's just add a group and close it. Then next up will be another section. Another section dot section or session. That's not how to write. Have a section and a container after that you have a h1 join us today so join us today next up you are going to have the h2 bright code then next after the bright code you are going to have a deep of code 3 Column, which is a column, click column H1. Start off with H1. That should be dot icon, icon and dot side, which is the icon will be by the side. I dot far dot far. This one is equation circle. That should be. So let's see a question cycle. Next up after the H1, we should have another H1 dot a future future and dot side two. We should have a title. After the title, we should have a paragraph, and this should just be side. Should be Lauren. Let me say ten. Hmm, ten is okay. So after the thing, what we are going to do is to copy it from column three right here, and then we are going to paste it. And we paste it five times one, two, three, four, five, and then in the middle, what we are going to do is write a group dot margin. Also, that's it. We are going to do after it's done. We should be at this end. Sorry, dot group dot margin. All right, guys, we should still move to another section two. Session BG should be big dot container and also each one. I should be learn more about me. Yeah. And H22, we shall be lowering of 5. Good, that's convenient. And then we shall have a div. Come on, move faster. And that div should be called dot calling 2 dot bridging dot margin dot x shrap pad the shrap pad okay after that we should have a huge one of icon 
and side after the icon side they are going to have an icon far dot far it shall be question second two no before I actually forgot wait let's just check what we have been doing okay seems all right then let's continue from where we were stop at h1 which is the last question circle and also we should also have a span of class and that class should be future future dot side and you should name it policy you can still name it anything you want and have a paragraph of side which should be lorem maybe add 15 15 might be a bit too much just yes, maybe let's leave it as something like this then i think that should be all so the next thing we are going to do is just to grab it from the column and then we have to just paste it paste it three times one two three all right guys after the policy which we just had here the next one will be that should be services after services we shall change the icon the icon should be handshake handshake and shake did i get that right good we got it right so after the hash shake we should just leave now let's just leave the paragraph so after the services the next one should have this company sorry uh, company and we should have users we should have users that should be users so for the all this other one the handshake we should make it more good than the icon good both for the users to should make the icon bolder okay guys and as for the last one it should be insurance insurance just for a shield check Alpha shield and that I think about this isn't shield check is what I was supposed to use up above and this is data that should be where was it that I use shield that should be communication insurance so this should be shield check not alternative that should be the first Alright guys, this is it. It's okay. So after getting in here, the next thing I'm going to do is you probably add inside the group margin. And below here we should also have the group. Then next we are going to move to the footer which is the last part of the first half section footer and a container which is container dot white and also column which is column for four dot left okay and after that we shop h1 which is technology so the first one after technology we have a paragraph which is lauren let's see if it's 14 too much mm, let's leave like this the after the paragraph the next thing we should be looking at we should have a, maybe a break in between so that's just me 
we don't want it to be much then after that we should have a div we should also copy it copy it and paste it three more times doing here we are going to change some things inside so for the first time we are going to change it to futures and we are going to remove the paragraphs and instead add a url and then li sorry guys what am i doing and you shall be li of services let's see instead let's change let's add many that should be six so the first one should be services but then and the second one should be contacts and the other one should be about you can just change it i'm just giving it any name that comes to my head delivery and also health which is question and answer plus then company policy sorry policy not policy after that we should move on to the next one should be security security and shall be lauren it already has lauren so you can just add maybe lauren to sorry since i added lauren to that should be what am i doing okay since that i jumped yeah we should just lauren three as for this next one, next one should be feedback. Feedback should change this to so, I. I am bright. Could and then that paragraph two. This should be the last, which is you can. Get in touch with me. With me to add a link. Maybe just add, you can add a link on it in here. She's bright. Cool. YouTube channel. Something like this. And last you should just add a group below it. It should be after everything. Okay guys. Now this is it for the HTML. All oh, this is for the HTML. Now I'm just going to use CSS to make it more beautiful. But before that, let's add our font here. Yeah. After the title. We are going to be using Roboto. Alright guys, on to the very beautiful CSS. The first thing we are going to do is HTML body. So I'll be margin 0, body 0. After that we should move to section. We should have a width of 100%. And then container those containers that I've been writing since position relative width 117 pixels that should be right sorry not 117 pixels and margin 0 or 2 with a color of 444 four. And after that you should have a font size of 14 pixels and a font width of 300 after that you should have font coming roboto and then open sounds 
open sensing area and sans serif add an overflow of hidden great now we should have session session container this one is different from this of container these are the containers inside the sections so shall be padding of 30 0 and 50 pixels 0 which is top 30 bottom 50 pixels no left and right padding then after that the next one should be section.bg the one that has a bg you should give it a background of f7 okay guys after that we should move to the header and now the header should have a height of 80 pixels let's just move so that it is easier to see some of these have changed color now the height height of 80 on the header which is header so what am I doing? Main height of 80 pixels. Good. Width of 100%. And the transition of line height. 0.2 seconds. And linear. Should be linear. Then with the box, the box shadow is two. So the box shadow is in two seconds linear. After that, should move to position fixed. So it should still be there when we are moving. And top should be zero, left should be zero. After that, we should have a Z index of 100 should be above everything else then background you should have a background of rgba which is 245 245 245 245 1 9 should make it a little bit transparent after that let's just create a space after that should have a header Header dot small. This we are going to add it using JavaScript. I'm right. Which is line height should be 50 pixels. And what shadow should be 0 pixels, 1 pixels, 3 pixels, and 0 pixels to RGB. Which is 50, 50, 50. 0.8. That should be each box shadow and also a header small sorry guys which is header dot small when it is small after it is small then the container logo the container then the logo should have a height of 40 pixels Sorry for tip, this is not. So after that, we should have our logo. High position, absolute, top 50 pixels, and a transform. This translate y minus 50. After that, we should have background of Fishy Tree. And it should float left. Let it go. Sorry, float not. Float left and height of 40 pixels. Width of 170 pixels. Should have a margin left. A margin left of 5 pixels. And then display. Flex align items should be center 
justify content justify content should be centered too all right now it is perfectly centered should be padding of zero zero five pixels then we should have the test inside it should be font size in five pixels font weight should be bold and the test transform test transform should be uppercase we should also have a color be white all right guys before we forget let's just add this is the paragraph not the logo so that you guys don't get confused so after that we should have a ul dot now that should be float right we should move to the right after that list type we should not have any decoration none then after it displays none we should move to the margin zero and the padding zero good then we should move to the ul ui nav dot ul that should be li sorry after the li should be float left good after the float left that should be position absolute too sorry position relative I get it okay it is over this side then let's give some space all right guys after that we should move to the link now I have the li and the a which is the link I have transition after this some color point two seconds linear good font size should be what size should be 18 pixels after that should be padding 21 after the padding color should be its initial color that should be initial and then test the correction we don't want any decoration then transition now the box shadow transition box shadow that should be three seconds is in out all right guys let's move if it is over let's see add the over effect on it over li when the li is over then one the link have a box shadow of zero pixels minus 3 pixel 0 pixel and RGBA 0001 or should we put it point 0.9 insert which means should be inside let's check good still not clear here yeah. all right guys it's working out after the UL we should move over to our section our section dot footer let's add footer so that it will be easier background show the background color of 333 then we should move to the slider dot section dot slider the slider want the background to be an image so that should be bg good then background repeats don't want any repeats background position that should be center and background size that should be cover and lastly position should be relative then after that we should move to the section after you see the slider dot which means we want to make it a little bit darker we make the content should be matching 
and then the position absolute so I can move it freely. After that, we have a width of 100% and a height of 100%. Okay, dokey. Then we should have a background. Background should be an RGB. If we added a one, it will be too dark. So instead, we are going to make it 0.6. Or if you want, you can add it 0.5 for anyone. That is your own decision. They should make top zero so that should cover the image. Good. That is how it is. Only on the image side. Alright, guys. After that, we should move on to the slider content. Slider content that should be test align center, which is the test over the slider. And it's an index of one. Okay, then we have the hero, which is the H1, the two headings. We should have a font family of Roboto, Roboto Sun Slab. That is the name of the font family, and the Sun Serif. Let's see, this is it. After that, we should add. The next thing I'm going to add should be the color, make it white, since it's on a dark background. Then font width should be normal. And then letter spacing, and let be letter spacing 1 pixels. Good. Okay. Later we're going to change this color to the h1.hero. Font size should be 54 and h2 which is the one below it is 2.0 we want the font size to be 30 pixels and then margin bottom that should be 60 all right we are getting somewhere and now for this after effects, we should add an after effects that should be h1.0 have a content after the content you should have that should be width of 300 sorry 300 pixels after that position relative and then but the bottom that should be one this is solid aaa and test the line center margin should be zero or two and also margin top should be 15 pixels let's check it Okay, hold up. Let's move this. Okay, then let's go over to anything add some spacing between this, and then let's do our call. That should be color should be white. But that color should be white, and I should have a display of block, and then margin button should be 20 pixels okay then dot call the span which is the span let's go span display inline display inline border so guys border should be one ps solid white and then padding should be should be eight pixels and 13 pixels okay after that font size should be 20 pixels and then transition that should be background background 1.5 seconds linear and then let's add the over effect but for that we should check what we are doing okay yeah, this is it. Let's add the over effect. Oh, 
over if we are two down let me check something okay that didn't work okay then the hover effects that should be background rgba should be 255 make it a little bit whiter then point two and a cursor should be point two. let's check it out okay that works out and next we should move on to the other section this is calling so the other ones that have a calling what I'm going to do is float left the padding zero margin zero and then position relative after that we should move over to the ones that have a column of four and each width should be 23 slide so to accommodate four and margin margin should be zero and one percent let's see good this is it that seems okay after that we should move over to the ones that have a column of three that should be width 40 percent and a margin of sorry width should be 31 since it's three so 31 can contain up to three in the page and it should have a margin of still 0.1 percent let's see good this should work out 3 3 I thought they were more than okay yeah so I just need to work on it then our column of 2 those that have a column of 2 that should be which should be 40 percent with 40 percent and the margin should be 0 and 2.5 percent okay then padding 2 should be 0 and 2.5 percent let's see which one again has it that should be this one right that has a column of 2 okay dokey after that we should move to extra pad how do i spell this again okay column dot extra pad am i right we should have a padding top of 20 pixels padding bottom two of 20 pixels after that we should move over to call service column dot service after the column dot service and future two future that should be font size 21 pixels uh just made a mistake okay that worked so font size 21 pixels font width should be 300 and then font family sorry font family should be able to slab and it sounds serif then we should have an after effects of the service service the after content should be nothing and the width should be 50 percent then position should be relative border button should be one pixels solid light white or anything you call it display should be block make it centered 
and add the margin up to and the margin top should be 15 pixels so which one has column service again let's check service hmm did i get it wrong let's just look for the one that has service Right, that should be fast delivery. This one on top, which are these? These are the ones that have fast delivery that are services. So, these are the after effects. After margin 15 pixels, we should have a future. The ones that are carry the future dot future font size should be. 19 pixels. Let's check. It's the ones that carry the feature. If I'm right. Alright, after that, we should move over to column H1 slide. And column P slide. Lastly, calling span. So, sorry, this side. As you guys remember, to a side that I did. After that, let's add something else. Should be first of type. Good. We should make it margin left. 50 pixels good and test a line should be left okay then we should move over to the icons not con icon what am i typing icon should be border radius and this border radius should be 50 pixels 50 percent after that it shall be height Before I forget, should be that should be dot column right height should be 85 pixels and the width should be 85 pixels too. After that, we should have line height 85 pixels good and then make it centered. After that you should be able to have margin zero up to now it's coming out clearly transition should be background background point two five seconds that should be linear and also its color two should be point two five seconds linear to okay then we should move back to the account side that why do we keep forgetting this thing that column dot icon dot side that should be position absolute and also padding zero and imagine zero after that we should move to the top minus 15 pixels then let, let's give this some space top minus 15 pixels and a height of 50 pixels and a width of 50 pixels too okay dokey after that, we should move out to the column when the column is hovered. Dot call. Dot hover. And dot icon. Dot side. So, what do you want you to do? Oh, we should just leave it at icon later. We'll move over to the side first. When the column is hovered, the icon should have a background of 5555. Five, five, five. And then, color should be white after that 
you should do the same thing but the one that had side over icon that side that should be background you should have an initial and then color two should be initial color okay then and then let's move on to the responsive group now let's see as you can see it color changes if you cut it carefully it color changes okay and the responsive group do i get this right should have a display none and let's call him and paragraph also volume and heading should be if the padding zero and one percent okay and the test align make it centered good after that we should move <coughs> that should be okay after that we should move back to the group margin which is always at the bottom just like what I said, how this group matching do the margin bottom? This margin button should be 20 pixels, so you should give a space for all the columns that are grouped together. Now, column dot image holder. Now, let's check the image holder. There is it. Column dot img holder that should be high 300. Good, and a width of 100%. And a background, give the background just in case some of the image didn't show. And also, transition that should be. Background three seconds linear. After that, she move you over to the BG. These are the ones that have a BG. Calling background should be pure white, and then we should move over to the pointer. I should have a cursor, and then. When you hover over the BG, then we want the image holder. Background. Like I said, this is in case the image didn't show, so you at least want to design the background of that image so it will just be blank. Okay? Alright, guys, let's move on to the spam feature. Cool spam feature, which is like the header title. Sorry, feature not header. Confusing myself here. I need font size, should be 20 pixels. Alright, guys, so we are soon going to be done with this. Then the containers and H1. You join inside the container, which is after after effects you have the content, which is all you join should have the content of like a design line below it. Let's just see this, and then width 30 pixels. Position should be relative, and then but the bottom should be one pixels solid a -A -A. and then display block after the block you should have the test align center margin that should have a margin of up to up and I'm missing things up the margin top should be 15 pixels 
and after that let's do something else continue h1 and not which is any h1 that does not have anything called a hero or the h1 which is the heading that does not have hero just like in the case of the first one we did this one that has a hero so anyone that does not have it this is what you're going to apply to it but this one that has it it will not affect it so this h1.0 is not going to work on it only the ones that does not have that hero hero class so then what we want one margin button should be 30 pixels and then test align should be centered as you can see this one they are centered but it's not going to affect this ones since it has a hero then all the other ones is going to work on them okay then let's move on to all h2 which is from family steel roboto roboto slab and that should be sans serif and then test align should be centered good here it is centered after it is centered we should move over to the front weight just make it not to be bold and then font size 18 pixels there it looks more normal and then all the ones that have left and left just left h1 and then left paragraph should test align should move over to the left and then reset what am i doing test align should be left important Sorry guys. Important. Which means you override this current alignment. So that reset after display. No. Important too. After that, we should move over to almost the last side. Well, not last, but almost the last. Now, white, H1, white, H2, and white, paragraph, white, D. And white link or should have a color white since anything that it falls under the white class should have it and then this group after should have the content now content display table and then clear good that gives this gives this space under that's what the group under it now it's coming to fusion as you can see it says almost done just have to make it look responsive now and we want to make it look more responsive so we should have medium all and max width that should be mobile should tablet view i want the container should have a width of 19 five percent let's make it like this 
good okay now you can be able to see it clearly a width of 95 percent and then our column four that has a column of four just like this here that has a column of four we should have a width of 48 percent good and then margin of one percent oh that's more like it and then one that has column of three let's search which one is that column of three that should be this column dot three should have display block and then width should be 95 make it take up the full page which should be 95 padding zero and imagine zero and also instead of zero let's add zero auto zero auto after the auto we should be able to make it float nowhere which is float none Ooh, that means it's neither, it's either neither floating left or right and now let's move on to the header okay header should have a height automatic and a background it should be too white after that we should move to the logo we want the logo to be responsive too position initial okay now it is siding don't worry to think command float none after floating none if you have the transform none and then margin should be 10 pixels or two and zero or two okay dokey if you are done with that we'll move over to the nav see this nav there somehow not okay so we should have nav float none don't want it to float to the right so we want it to float don't want it to float anywhere and the display block after that test align should be centered I get that right and imagine zero or two no 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 did I get that right that should be um, okay then have sorry that's not something and now the list should have float initial uh no Float initial and display that should be inline block. All right, there it is magnificent. So, after I've done with that, we should be able to move the responsive group. That responsive group, I got that right. Display block. And then dot responsive group two after effects should have the content of nothing and then display table then clear books okay then we should move over to the minimum since this one maximum then the minimum Alright, this other one was maximum, so we should make this one minimum, which is media all and minimum minimum with steam tablet, which is above seven six eight pixels, its container. You have a width of 750. 
Okay, that should be it. Then we should move over to minimum when it is all and a little bit higher than tablet is laptop mini laptop phone should be 992 pixels so container should this container should be have should have a width of 970 okay guys still remaining two more before we are done two more medium and then that should be all and minimum which should be 450 which is for mobile then all calling then all calling for and also all calling of three and also calling two that the display block and you should have a which should contain everywhere 95 percent after that padding zero margin zero two after the margin zero should have sorry margin zero or two i usually forget this after margin zero or two they will have a float none shouldn't float anywhere and then the extra extra pad could sorry should be the same if they are separated it's not going to work out so padding one percent and then margin button should be 10 pixels and the group should display none all right guys that'll be it and now for the javascript what we want to do now the last thing we should do is to make a header to be smaller when we move as you can see this is our header so it just means the same height so what we want to do now so go over to index last page go to our script and create a script so then first thing we are going to do window when we scroll the window window dot on scroll so I'll give it a function and a parameter we shouldn't put anything to the parameter that should grab the header so we name let's name it header which is document dot get element by class name I should get element by class name header okay after getting the element by, the, by its class name should give it the first one which is zero by javascript and then after that we should move over to sorry we should move over to if if header which is the header that we got here dot class list if it has a class list if header dot class list then as long as it has a class name header then what you want is that if it is crude why it has that class name header so if window dot screw why what if it's screwed vertically just like this this is screwed why as you can see this is screwed why we we'll still have some problem with this audio it later so then after it's screwed why then if it is more than 10 
if when it is screwed that it is more than 10 let's take for example something like this console.log window dot scroll y inspect let's move this up this does not have anything to do with this index 227 which I made no mistake 227 did I make a mistake here? ok sorry let's remove this first for now let's see if it's going to work as you can see this is the window this is how much it has so now it is zero if it screwed more than 10 if it screws more than 10 then we want something to happen to the header if it screws more than 10 we want something to happen to the header that is what we want to do so let's go back let's move our console and move over to here it is screw more than 10 we want the header dot class list dot add sorry I want it to add some more that's what I wanted to add a class list of small which is what we added here when it has a class list of small that should be in header then its line height should be reduced and a boss shadow which is here it has a line height of 80 but when it is scrolled down its line height will be reduced to 50 if I'm right still not working which means we haven't completed it yet now let's go back after it line height, then we should have an X statement. Then after that, X if it doesn't have any of that, if it is less than ten, so we want to remove, we want to remove it. Let's see. Good, it worked. As you can see is much much smaller and it is being removed now let's just fix these columns now in this let's see what we did wrong here that should be somewhere here okay guys we have something we are supposed to add one more and also this is not supposed to be minimum i did a mistake here it's supposed to be maximum not minimum and after that we should add one last thing which is this that should be 1200 pesos and it should have the width of 1170 pesos all right guys that is it for this video now we just did everything we want to do now if you have any question you don't understand why i was doing this can ask in the comment section below this is what we wanted to do all right it is inspected good everything is okay all right guys thank you guys for watching and make sure to like and subscribe too